yeah dear students welcome to harsha trainings uh, let's open a question and answer session uh, this is the first session on pega question and answers um, any one of you if you are attending interviews and if you are looking for answers for the questions that are been uh, that you are been facing during the interviews you can post those questions under the comment section of this video so we are going to take up a uh, few questions that have been posted in the last week and let's see what are the questions and how to answer those questions let's go ahead with the first question uh, which is been posted by leela pasula uh, they are asking like hi harsha i like your explanation for each and every topic it's so clear please make a video for what are the problems you faced in your recent projects and how you have solved those problems so basically this type of question like what are the challenges that you have faced in your projects and what are the challenges that you have uh, come across in the recent projects or in the past like this question irrespective of technology whether you are working on pega or maybe any other technologies this type of question usually been asked in during the interviews see uh, let me tell you an example suppose if you have worked on a task and you feel it it is a challenging task for you and if you are going to explain the same task to the interviewer during the interview the interviewer may not feel it like a uh, the big task or a challenging task or a difficult task because that might be easy for him maybe that is challenging for you so what is that you have worked on if you are a, if you are going to explain the same uh, the, the development problem or maybe the support problem whatever it is so the interviewer may consider it as a real challenge or may feel like this is very simple um, task why he is feeling like challenge and uh, if this guy is going to feel it like a challenge that means if you are going to give him the tough task he will not be able to do it that's that could be the impression of the interviewer or that could be the uh, way that the interviewer can think about it so usually why this type of questions are being asked during the interview we should know about uh, the real fact the real fact is that they wanted to know your learning ability okay how uh, uh, what is your interest towards learning new things and how you manage the situations when you come across let me tell you one one thing let's say for example if you are trying to learn any technology for the first time when you are learning the technology at the basic level itself you might be feeling it like uh, very tough to understand the things and work on the things using the basic concepts also but as the years pass on and you struggle a lot to find out the solutions and to build the solutions using basics and even you go to advanced and all as the years pass on and you gain the experience if you look back and see those problems you find it like very easy but the one which have felt like it is very difficult in the past today it has become very easy for you then is that going to be a challenging task today or not it was a challenge long back but it is not now and the same problem if you are going to say what you have felt challenge the interviewer may feel it like a challenge or may not feel it like a challenge so you need to showcase your ability towards learning so what is the way that you can answer the best way you can manage the situation and answer this is in my day to day life since i started my development i had faced so many challenges so few years back when i started working on let's say let me take an let me tell you an example when i started working on uh, rest integration soap integration let's say soap integration that is the first integration that i have ever been taken the task that time i felt it, it is very difficult to work on so i have put my own efforts i was trying to find the solution for rate going through the pdn and i coordinated with my teammates and i have taken their help and guidance to complete the task also i talked to my team lead and i have taken some inputs and from the team lead uh, in order to gain the knowledge about the subject and i finally i was able to solve it and later after few days i have been assigned with rest integration i was not knowing anything about rest integration so the same i have repeated like i have gone through the respective sources over the web and i was able to gain some knowledge and somewhere in between if i start i took the help guidance from my teammates as well as my team lead and my tech lead and finally i am able to solve 
these are these like this so many things step by step in my learning process whenever i come across with a new topic or the new subject on which if i have to uh, make the deliverables i find it li little difficult at the very beginning but later on so immediately i start looking at different sources i start talking to the people and gain the knowledge from them and i i'm going to even get the uh, knowledge being transferred from my higher officials like my team leads and tech leads in case if someone is going to ask me what they don't know about i will be able to help them about the respective subject if i know about it so like so many challenges as a learner so we are a learner forever so every time when you are being assigned with something new to you definitely that is going to be a challenge for you and you need to tell them that the ways how you have achieved it like if you are saying that if i go through the web and find different sources and i trying to gain the knowledge there and implement the same that means you have self learning ability that is one thing and if you say that the next level is i coordinate with my teammates and gain the knowledge from them that means you have good skill of coordinating with your colleagues where you gain the knowledge from them and you also share the knowledge to your team so that you make sure that you are part of the team and you are going to create a good platform uh, 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 you are going to create a good environment of establishing good relationship about knowledge transfer and even you talk to your team lead and tech lead when you don't know something you are open to talk to your team lead and tech lead and gain the knowledge from them and accept their uh, 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 inputs and try to work on it and solve the issues and make the deliverables on time this is the way to showcase yourself whenever a question is been asked about what are the challenges that you have faced in your interview so this is not only talking about the respect to subject or the requirement but also you are going to say that i have self learning ability i have team coordination ability and also i am ready to uh, always uh, work under someone my tech lead or team lead by taking and the inputs from them and make the deliverables on time by struggling and i stretched myself to work for more hours during these situations and i am making the deliverables on time so that means the last one stretching more hours during these situations of new assignments which i have never dealt with before so you are going to say that indirectly that or directly so if project is project needs your presence for more hours to complete the deliverables you are available you are ready to do that see this is the way to manage that situation and this is the way to answer where you sh you are going to show your different abilities to help the project deliver deliverables done on time so this is the way you have to answer for the challenging questions let's go ahead with the next question the second question is from uh sandeep paladugu uh, hi harsha i was asked one question in recent interview like what are the best practices do we need to be follow while creating a new application and within the same he has one more question also okay let's go ahead and take it the first one what are the best practices do we need to follow while creating a new application see it's not only about one technology any technology when you are newly creating your application the first and foremost thing that you need to identify is the database architecture what is the design of your database you have to have a clear picture not even uh, if if it is not 100% at least an 80% of clear picture of the database architecture of your project and the next level you should have a clear idea about the external sources the your application is going to have communication with other external sources so what are the external sources that you are going to have in your project and you should have to create a layered architecture for your application where you are going to have a database layer being set up and uh, for communicating with other applications an integration layer you are going to set up and for the work processing a work layer you are going to set up you need to make sure the scope of the accessibility of different uh, 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 rules or the business logics are the business components that you are creating and you have to appropriately create at the appropriate levels like well you come to pega so you need to follow the best practices of identifying all the data types identifying all the integration relations that we are going to have and identify the database schema structure and all any external tables are there like that 
and make sure that you are going to create the classes at the appropriate levels and one more important thing is whether your application today is having only one line of business or maybe multiple lines of business if you are having multiple line of business it is always a best practice that you create a framework and implementation application architecture suppose your application is having only one line of business let's say today you have one line of business can you say what is going to be there tomorrow tomorrow you may add new lines of business right uh, right considering only today you should not create your application you have to have always a good future forecast good outlook about your business expansion and accordingly it is always a best practice to set up framework application layer and implementation application layer so that is these are the main things which you need to consider so let me summarize this like your application should have a framework and implementation architecture your application should have all and all layers like integration layers and work layer and database layers and even external database layers all these have to be created at the appropriate places and the global rules you need to identify and make it at the global uh, classes level and make it as a dss entries if it is server level so like this at the time of creation you need to follow some of the best practices and moreover and next question the same person was asking that is when a development is been completed and it went through through the testing up to the production that means the application is currently in the production which means that testing is completed and in the production if you see performance issues what steps we need to take to remediate the issue so you are facing some performance issues after the application is been in production but during the testing phase it is fine working uh, good the problem when you go to production is see for the performance issue there are multiple reasons the first thing is some feature may work in development and testing without giving any performance issues because the development region and testing regions data the content the data that is there in the system is very very less compared to production let me tell you an example suppose somewhere you might have written a query or a report definition you have created with a select class columns but there is no where condition in production you have only 100 200 records when you execute the report it worked fine without any issues same report definition is being delivered to the production but in the production you have 1 million records when the re report report definition is executed it will try to fetch the maximum re records that it can fetch so that is n number of records so now the report definition running time will be more and the performance will go down and the production data is less you did not optimize the properties in the report definition that's okay less data it has fetched but the same when you take to the production because you did not optimize the properties that you are using in the report definition it has to fetch from the blob column at the time what will happen fetching from the blob will take time and that lead to severe performance issues there are many other things like this you might be fetching the data from the database and displaying in a grid format in the development and testing because the data is less grid has been loaded successfully if you have to load 10000 records in the live in the live environment there are 10000 records same report which has worked fine in the live, when you take it to the live what will happen is to load 10000 records in one single page the uh, the browser will uh, take lot of time you might have applied proper pagination while in the development you might have forgot that in the development like this when you develop the things in the development and testing environment because the data is very less you might not feel any see any performance issues but when you take it to the production there may be performance issues so you have to consider about the production with respect to the load of the data also while developing the data may be more and accordingly you have to do it so mainly the performance issues are related to in pega especially report definitions property optimization should be done properly and that is one of the cause and pagination should be done when you are displaying in the a uh, grid view or a table layouts like that and moreover in the production the things may be different your application development is good everything is fine but after taking to the live the issue is happening there may be the issue with the production servers also on the production server uh, because of some reason the log file size has increased in tb and th that is occupying the full space on the server hard disk that will also bring, bring down the performance that may be the reason for performance so you need to check the size of the log files on the servers and thereafter you have to talk to the admin teams and accordingly you have to create the scripts ask the admin teams to create the respective 
scripts on the server to delete the log files when the size exceeds up to some extent so and also there is a tool called performance analyzer you always have to use the performance analyzer tool in order to find the readings and today if you have used the performance analyzer during the next production release if you are going to use it compare the results of the performance analyzer to not exceed the uh, minimum values so if you are finding anything odd you have to work towards it and also always check pega alert logs for any alert codes there may be sometimes issues from the database also your application server is faster but the database server is responding slow that will cause the performance issue your application might be communicating with third party services and the third party services when the response is by the time response is received timeouts are happening here because the third party systems are very slow so the performance issue sometimes may relate with your may be related to your development may be related to third party servers so this is how you should have clear knowledge about all of these things then you should be able to manage the situation and crack the interview easily so that's it for today friends we have only three questions and tomorrow not tomorrow uh, next time so if you have any questions further we will go ahead and take up those questions the same way and under this video in the comment section post your questions that you are facing in the interview and also look at my channel for the interview sessions videos and if you do not find the solution for the question that you are looking for then post the questions under this video i will take these questions and give you appropriate answers and solutions during the next session so thank you so much everyone if you like the video if you like the content like this video share this video with your friends and make sure you don't forget to comment if you have any queries it is not only about pega if you are a fresher and you are looking for career guidance still you can post your questions under this video about your career guidance also we will take up that career guidance questions also and guide you to move in a good path to get into your dream jobs thank you so much everyone thank you